Uh, he's been tweeting out pictures, updates, and things like that. So definitely follow him if you have a chance. But here on game one, and we're in Battlefield, and we're having this pincer attack of lasers. Yeah, man, they're just trying hit to... stun everywhere. And Dave just throwing out like seven up tilts and no one near. This is extremely <laughs> old, old school, school style. Yep. I love it. The preemptive stuff. Playing with, uh, just trying to outsmart so out tech. You know, you play what you know. If you aren't caught up in the current metagame, you stick to what you know. And we have uh, Reno basically saying, shoot these lasers, I'm going to just keep trying to power shield them back. Send them right back at you and you get your own hit stun. Our lasers don't have that, but we can send them right back to you. Good stuff by Cactuar, playing ever so patient, just waiting for an opportunity to get that out smash, which he gets on Papa Dave, making him lose his first stock. And once again, nice combos by the green team. Reno and Cactuar, man, I, I, t I tell you, man, their synergy is pretty spectacular. Yeah. One thing that they are currently lacking right now. That damage? Those edge guards right there. There's two of them, two easy opportunities, but they'll get them back eventually. That's the game of melee, you know. It's, melee is a log basketball. You might miss a couple of shots, but you get your own rebound. So it's all about how you get those points in the end, whether percentage or just getting rid of stocks. Too true. And the tough thing about being double Falco against, you know, double Fox is are those just, you know, those opportunities to get those over 10 KOs, you know? Like, look at that. The Zang was actually in position for another Shine Spike. Man, they're just playing volleyball, dude. It's and foosball. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby Boucher, man. Shout out to the <laughs> water boy. Go play foosball with your friends, Bobby. Nice. It's just rough right now. I mean, the green team, seven stocks. You know, I mean, it's also, while both these, while all four of these players have been playing for ages, Yes. Cactar and Reno certainly have been play a lot more active in recent years. I mean, I would say neither has really been inactive, if that. But Dave is just embarking on his comeback. And um, Zhang is doing the same, so it's extremely difficult. And they are on the verge of getting, unfortunately, maybe a JV7. Maybe not. No, maybe not. So for the most part, it looks like it. what has been going wrong in this match, you'd say, was that the fact that the red team hasn't been getting their edge guards, correct? Uh, there's a lot of things. I mean, they're, they're trying to keep up with with people who are capable of uh, staying in the current meta. You know, that is well. They're, yeah. they're playing they're playing 2006, 2007 Six. Yeah. against or 2000. 13, 14 guys are still pushing the game forward. Yeah, I'd it's say... Playing catch-up. Mm -hmm. What would you say, D1? Most definitely. No, as far as the years were concerned, yeah. Like, these guys have been around probably since, like, 04, 05. Definitely. Yeah, but... <clears throat> I don't know. I'd feel like it would probably be best to leave the gun alone and just go straight in there and apply pressure to the spaces. I try to get more control of center stage. And I, I want to see, see more walling out. Let me see what's going to happen here. So here we go, Papa Dave. <clears throat> Trying to see if he can try to get some control, but every time he goes for a laser, it looks like Reno just immediately goes for a full jump there, right over, and punishes him accordingly. Also, we are uh, seeing some of this laser action. Yes, you know, you're always trying to pin your opponent down, but you're also pinning down your partner, unfortunately, with this double foul group. Because uh, we saw one Falco jumping into the person's lasers, so you really can't take advantage of that stage control and stage position that you're using. I don't know. I, I, I guess I would be happier seeing Dave go for more up tilts. All right. Well, there you go. Zang's we have an up tilt. <laughs> Zang, <laughs> Zang, not Zang must bad. Wow, I'm coaching. All right. Not bad. Good stuff, Zang. Up tilt. I think that was reverse back air to a uh, to a spike. Yep. Dub um, double jump. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. I like that combo. Like, it's pretty salt. It's pretty good. Pretty yeah, good. pretty good. I mean, for the most part, against characters like Fox, you're gonna want to get those like crouch cancel shines. They're they're always gonna be trying to jump, do full jump approaches because you know they're waiting for you to laser. And if you're not trying to laser, they'll just you know they'll just be all over you. Yeah, they'll just run straight into your face and try to stuff whatever you're gonna throw out before you throw it out because they know Falcos always like to dictate the flow of the match. Oh, definitely. You know they. One thing that a lot of Falcos forget is that. While you do have the laser, which is great at controlling just one racking percent to 
messing with your opponent's angles of approach. But three, just his offensive game, period. You look at a player like Mango, who doesn't use too many lasers at all. Not at all. And he just uses all of Falk's offensive weapons. You look at PP, who is redefining the uh, use of forward airs. You know, he has a lot of great tools, so... Unfortunately, you know, the tools are kind of lacking right now for this, uh, this red squad. And we almost got a meter spike there. And D.A. Day with a good F smash gets an easy KO. Well, amazing stuff right now. I mean, it actually looks like these guys just might bring it together. I don't think so. I mean, if you're watching Cactor's box, the uh, plain one, he's really, really just waiting. He's just empty hopping, just... All right, you got it. <laughs> you win, man. You win. Cactor's box. <laughs> You know, he's doing the right thing. He's just, he's doing mental pressure. He's not throwing out too many moves. Yeah. But when he does throw out a move, it's well placed. And he's always just waiting for his options. I remember years ago, there was a post on Smash Boards about uh, people's responses time. And Cacto was like, extremely high on that. So. Yeah. One of, one of the things I do notice these guys do a lot is they'd rather like hang back and just shoot a laser. Even sometimes when their opponents aren't there. Right. I mean, it's just like, it's kind of a workflow for Falco. You just get so used to doing it that it's nothing, that it's the best option. Even when your fingers don't want to do that, you end up doing it just because yeah, it's man. so common to do. But actually, D1, uh, again, you know, it's great to be here at 